This is the most compact electric scooter that I have ever seen. This is from Dynamic Scooters. So look how thin this box is. It fits in your backpack and these tires are so compact. I'm not sure how comfortable this is. It's foldable. Let's unbox it. Let's see what we have here. Let's see how it performs. And let's see if this is your next most compact scooter to commute daily. We have here manual. This is very tiny charger, 22 volts. So it's 10 S, 1.5 amps. Holy moly, this is small. Look at this. Whoa, this is really tiny. This thing, it's super tiny. This is how it looks. I kind of like the design, guys. This is really impressive how efficiently they were able to, you know, design and make it so compact. Like when I say efficiently, like every single inch, look at this. Fits everywhere perfectly. It just looks really well. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel uh, bad. It's actually pretty, pretty well done. Even the grip tape and all around looks really good. So let's charge it first and uh, then take it outside for a spin and see how this uh, performs. But before we do that, let's go over the specs. Total weight of the scooter, it's 10 kilograms or 22 pounds only. We have the smallest motor I've seen so far, rated 250 watts. The battery is removable, 36 volts, 5 amp hours or 180 watt hour capacity. And this will work perfectly for traveling. It is under 200 watts accepted limit for airlines. So taking this scooter on your next trip will be so easy. Foldable aluminum frame with maximum weight limit 100 kilograms or 220 pounds. Top speed. Acceleration is smooth, gradual, very intuitive. And this little scooter has some powerful kick at the start. It has three levels of speed, maximum being very comfortable, 25 kilometers an hour or 15 miles an hour, and surprisingly able to keep up with this busy traffic in New York City. Range. I weigh 225 pounds, that's five pounds over the limit of the scooter. And I'm surprised this model survived one week on New York City streets. I'm riding always in a maximum speed and I was able to cover 6.8 miles in range, which is very impressive from such a tiny battery. In the last battery line, the speed was reduced to 10 kilometers an hour, sometimes a little bit less, and I stopped riding, but you can continue at six miles an hour and cover more range. There's no subway connecting east side to midtown Manhattan, and if I have to use subway or bus, it's so much wasted time, it'll take you more than one hour. And a bike, which would be a better solution, I don't have a parking spot at my office, they don't allow bikes, so having the scooter is the perfect solution. Folds easy, quick, it's light, it's very compact, is the most compact scooter on the market today, and I can fit in my duffel bag, and nobody even knows I have a scooter. I am super happy for this Model B, but I'd rather ride 10 minutes back and forth from home to work than walk 1.6 miles every day and waste 36 minutes. So this model allows you to save 52 minutes per day, 4.3 hours a week and 17.5 hours a month. Totally worth it. If you look closely, all those joints everywhere, how they fold, but all the parts are steel, aluminum, very solid. There's a little bit of noise, but this is a prototype. I mean, it's a final production, but the extension will be longer here and the wheels will be honeycomb core wheels that will actually be softer, but will be better wheels. It'll be less vibration and much more comfortable. I like how it folds here. It has a spring here and you press this button and it's all spring loaded. It's releasing the spring right there. You can see moving. It clips the front by itself. And you have here a set screw to adjust. Once you do that, you just lift the end and it folds by itself, locks in. You have here the kickstand to hold it and pretty much lift the front. 
the same equipment list you see on the seat post, on the e-bikes. And the scooter, it's ready to go. Very simple design, very clever, I would say. And very convenient. The limit on the scooter is 100 kilograms. And as you can see, it does pretty well on flats and slight, uh, very slight incline. On heels, this is not really powerful, but you can assist, you can kick and get the scooter going. So once you start kicking a little bit, it helps a lot. Here you have a brake, so you can use this brake and you can use regen brake, which is awesome. And here we have DC charging port and this is the button when you press, you push it down, battery comes out. Like that, it has very cool mechanism here in the back and this hinges that goes in. And you can see here, close ups how it works. Really clever, really well done. And the battery, it's very compact, very light. And we have here some specs. And it's easy to take it out and you can charge it in your office. You can put it in your backpack, super light and compact. We have a very clean design here. I like the colors and the quality grips, very good grips. Some e-bikes don't have this quality. So it's really nice. You have this nice rubber cover. We have the horn, which is not super loud, decent enough. The light, you can hear the beep, very bright LED. And we have this small LCD here that shows you the speed, the battery, and kilometers. You can change the miles and also the speed. So when you press here on this button, you have slower speed, FD, and really fast. On and off, and this is the throttle. And regen brake right here. It's not bad, actually. It's not super comfortable because it's very compact. And these are not the final wheels, but if you have to get to the office and it's a mile and a half, two miles, you can cover this in a very short, very fast time. Here's a size comparison between regular electric scooter and the Model B. This model, it's crazy compact. It is about 24 inches or two feet in length and height about 10 inches. Suspension. We have hidden suspension in the front, about half an inch of travel that helps on the rough terrain. The final honeycomb wheels would also improve the ride quality and comfort with the softer wheels. High extension pole will make this more comfortable for taller people. Still, the way the prototype is delivered for testing it is a nice ride and a perfectly flat surfaces. This is a perfect last mile solution. Foldable design is fantastic. The compact factor, the lightweight design makes this model an amazing solution for the last mile commute. The Kickstarter campaign will get the first 200 backers chance to grab this scooter at only $249. Final price will be $450. For $249, this is a fantastic deal. Great solution for those that don't have parking for e-bikes or regular scooters in their house or office building. This can be placed in your backpack, under your desk in the office, anywhere. It does not take any space. The campaign link will be in the description box. Grab the best price when the campaign launches. Thank you for watching and checking this model out and I'll see you next time.